For your individual curriculum this month, I have for you a divorce one. So not the most fun of topics, but it is something that is necessary and that we're often referred to as school counselors. Of course, you know, November, we're getting close to Thanksgiving, so it's getting around the holiday season. And a lot of times, divorce and separation can be extra challenging for our students during these times. So why you should use a planned curriculum when it comes to your individual curriculum? Well, transformation takes place with structure. So instead of just randomly meeting and chatting, if you have some structure, your kids know what to expect and it's easier to measure your results and track that data. It's also easier to align it with the Ask a Standard. So we have a standards-based program here. Again, it's not just random and we can pick our objectives based on those standards. And I include those feelings check posters. So at the beginning of each individual session, the kids can identify how they're feeling and why. And I encourage you to model this for the students first. So you can say, I'm feeling upset today because this, or I'm feeling happy because this. And I encourage you to be really honest and to try not to always pick happy so you can give the students permission um, to feel some of those other less desirable emotions as well. And there is a counselor guide, again, with those ask a standards and the objectives that we're trying to meet. Now, this individual curriculum includes five activities. There's a coping skills board game, a social story and dice game, a coping skills craft, a reflective think sheet, and a living arrangement calendar. So as you can see, it is a complete individual curriculum. There are a wealth of fun activities here. So first up, coping skills board game. So I love to do a board game with an individual student. So you'll take turn rolling the die, and then based on where they land, they'll answer the different questions. Then there's a social story and dice game. So this one's great because it externalizes their feelings to a character. So the character in this book, um, his parents are going through a divorce, and so it's a great way for them to see some similarities and differences to their own situation. You'll then roll the die and they can answer the questions. You know, what would they do if they were Sadie? Have they ever felt like Sadie? Then there's the coping skills craft. So this one is a fun banana split themed but basically they can pick um, different coping skills they'd like to try when they're feeling upset about their parents' divorce. And the reflective think sheet, this is a good way for them to kind of compare and contrast the before and after. What's changed? What hasn't changed? Have these changes um, been positive? Do you like the changes? You know, are you living in a different house? Are you seeing people more? Are you seeing people less? And the living arrangements calendar. So this one's just super helpful. Um, basically, if they are going in between houses, it helps them kind of get an idea of when they're going where. So you can make this calendar together so they can see, okay, what day they're in a dad's house. And there's even a nice little packing list so they don't forget. Um, you know, they want to make sure that they bring their schoolwork and their pajamas, things like that. And it includes five journals, so each session they'll do a different journal prompt. Now I like these because instead of open-ended journals, they're kind of artsy and fun. So there's a coping strategies toolbox one. Um, it's talking about peaks and pits or mountain peaks and valleys, and the kids can kind of write in there. So these are very visual journals. I and of course, I have for you some data tracking tools. So there are self-assessments. So the students are going to answer these at the start of the sessions and at the end of the final session. They're going to write their name and date. And then each of these um, assessment statements matches the objectives. So we can see as a result of our counseling services if the students have improved. And then the student rating scales. These are just more self-reflective for them to kind of check in each week to see how they're feeling about their parents' divorce. So they will color those in, and then you can discuss how some weeks are harder than others. And I have those data collection tools for the parents and teachers as well. So these are behavior surveys. So we want to send these out to the parents and to the teachers to get a glimpse on how behaviors are at home and at school and then compare the two. And I love a good digital version. So there's a digital self-assessment you can have the kids do if you'd rather do that. This way you can track the responses digitally. Um, and there are the behavior surveys, same thing. Not only do you get to track the responses digitally, but sending parents and teachers a link is sometimes easier than sending home the physical paper. Okay, I hope your kids find it really helpful.